Hi everybody, so today we're here at the NASA Goddard Space Center. We're actually gonna get to interview a couple different scientists, go to think about five different labs. So it'll be really cool, get some actual experience um, here with our journalism class. So like our solar system that has these big beautiful gas giants you know way out there Jupiter Saturn Uranus we don't know anything about um, other solar systems beyond you know a certain interior point about to head inside to a building and we're actually going to get to see some hardware, um, some actual NASA um, gear. So it'll be really cool because I've never seen anything like that before. It's a real behind the scenes tour and we're learning a lot about exoplanets. The study of planets and Living planets, Earth-like planets, really um, has an amazing pull for not just scientists, but for everyone. The journalism school was everything to me. I mean, it taught me amazing writing skills and multimedia skills, but more so than anything, I think it just taught me how to communicate. The power to interact with people is huge. And now we're done. We went to a bunch of different places. This campus is huge. They have over 50 buildings here. So I feel like this is bigger than Maryland. But it was a lot of fun. I know so much about exoplanets now, which is a great thing about journalism. You never know what you're gonna have to cover next. Like last vlog I did, I was talking about politics. Now I'm at NASA and getting a behind the scenes look at all the cool things that they're setting up. All right, Ryan, so Alrighty. how do you think it went today? Uh, I felt pretty good about it. Got some really nice visuals, hopefully some really good sound bites. A gorgeous place to shoot at, so hope I can make it just look as good on camera as it did in person. How do you think data journalism kind of falls, kind of helps out with stories like this one? So it's very, very hard, I guess, conceptualizing all of this stuff when a scientist is saying it, but compiling it and showing it in a very simple graphic kind of shows the reader um, what is happening at NASA in an easier way. We're back at the University of Maryland. I am so happy about how that story went. Cannot wait to edit it and show it to you guys. So stay posted for that. And subscribe to our, our YouTube channel because you know we have so much to talk about and maybe you'll learn a little something just like we did. All right, see you guys next time.